1 Kings 16, 31. This is a story about Elijah and his enemies, Ahab and Jezebel. And um, also about making the rain come down um, on a famine. It was severe. And um, so anyway, Ahab was made king of Judah after his father Amari passed away. His father was made king while he was the commander of the army after King Zimri died. Ahab married Jezebel, the daughter of Ithabal, king of the Sidonians, and began to serve Baal, a false god, and worshipped him. He set up an altar to it. He also sacrificed his firstborn son and youngest son. Now Elijah said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew or rain in the next few years except at my word. So the Lord told Elijah to leave and stay east of the Jordan. He drank water from the brook, and God ordered the ravens to feed him. They brought him bread and meat in the morning. He also lived with a widow and her young son, which got really sick and died, but Elijah brought him back to life by praying over him to God. After a long time, God told Elijah to go and present himself to Ahab, and he will send rain on the land. So Elijah went. He was the only one of the Lord's prophets left due to Jezebel killing them all off. Elijah went to Ahab, told him to get two bulls. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers by fire, he is God. The false prophet of Baal called on the name of Baal from morning till noon, dancing and shouting, but there was no response. Then Elijah took twelve stones, one for each of the tribes descended from Jacob. He built an altar with them in the name of the Lord. Elijah prayed, out loud to God to show the people with lightning to come down on the bull he had and it did. The people said he is God. The famine was severe but Elijah caused it to rain heavy and told Ahab to go eat and drink. So he did.